right, I am in San Jacinto. San Jacinto, that's how I say it. San Jacinto is probably correct. Um, Southern California, and it's near Hemet. It's um, Riverside County, kind of goes around San Bernardino County. It's west and south, uh, anyway. I'm on my way to um, Scientology's super secret gold base because it's like a mile or two from here and I'm not trying I'm not you know gonna try to make any hassles or anything but um, this guy does uh, need to make an appearance and his head is not that bobbly there's not a lot of bobble going on here um, I don't know what I'm saying so I'm going by gold base secret Scientology place most Scientologists do not know about this location they don't know it exists they don't know what goes on there but if you follow SBTV and or you've seen going clear you know that this is a place where the hole was where all of the Scientology upper echelon were crammed into one trailer um, and made to basically attack each other and tell on each other and just I don't okay so everything about this cult reminds me of the relationships that I have had with narcissistic uh, friends or people who have uh, had personality disorders and it's 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 pure simply and purely abuse on a large scale to good hearted rich people basically is what it sounds like and yeah people who want to do better you know they believe in like the little like okay yeah it's Scientology sounds like a cool thing to do they they help the community they you know they don't they abuse children they use children they make them work as if they were adults um, they make people, ha families, have abortions. Uh, this is in the Sea Org. You probably know all this, but if you don't, that's why I feel compelled to be a little gnat in David Miscavige's ear or face or whatever, because make no mistake about it, when I go near the gold base, which is what I'm going to, which is what I'm planning to do today. I'm planning to walk on the street that is in front of the gold base. It's a two lane high, well it's, it was, it's supposed to be a two lane highway, um, east and west. Um, I'm trying to remember what it's called, I'm trying to read the sign in my mind. Gilman Hot Springs Road is what it's called and um, I, I guess it's legal to walk by because I did it before and nobody stopped me so I'm not trying to annoy anybody there besides David but I don't know if David Miscavige is even there I have no idea everybody's saying he's lived in Florida he's hiding out today is day seven of the Danny Masterson trial and He's on trial for raping several women, for drugging and violently raping several women, women and getting away with it because when the victims went to Scientology to get help, they basically shut them all down and told them, you know, don't, you know, do not go to the police, the civil servants or something, do not, you know, just just act like it never happened basically um, if you've been raped you know that you can't ever in your life act like it never happened um, but these people did what they were told to do by Scientology and um, so now he's he's on trial and we can only hope that whatever is best for all involved happens so um, yeah, I'm on my way. It's not far at all from where I am, and I'll start. Uh, I'll start taping again.
again, my uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I know what it's like to be abused. And I know what it's like to be um, manipulated to extremes in ways you never would have thought. You know, you know, you find yourself in situations you never would have thought you would be in. It's, it's horrible. And the saddest part is like the public Scientology, so even the Sea Org, like they think they're doing what's best for the planet. They actually believe that this is how they need to do their lives in order to clear the planet and make it safe for the next whatever generations. And what they're actually doing is allowing themselves to be abused and allowing their children to be abused by this malicious life family destroying cult of Scientology. Um, one last thing I wanted to say is I do believe these are the, the golden years of SPTV because if, like even even the Aaron versus Tony shit like whatever like the main thing that matters is that there's a light shed on Scientology whatever needs to happen for that to occur like whatever you know Tony and Aaron are big boys they can handle it it's not a big deal but of course I'm afraid someone's gonna say or do something wrong and fuck it up for all the Jane Does. I think we're all afraid of that. But anyway, so my point being, this is the golden, let me turn this around if I can, if I can figure out how. No? Shit. I wanted to show you the mountains, what the mountains look like. Hang on. So these are the San Jacinto Mountains. Actually, I don't know if it's actually Mount San Jacinto or what, because we have so many mountains and hills around here. Um, but it's real pretty right now because we had so much rain, remember? We had just had so much rain in California and, uh, and snow and all that weird shit. Alright, so Saboba Road is the next street. Fuck it. Okay, so what I'll just do is I'll just drive by. Maybe I'll come back around or park on the other side. We'll see. Oh, there's a lot of water in that. Whatever that is. Sakey. Okay. So you're going to see the north side of the gold base. And that's, um, we'll, we'll be there shortly. I know it's really hard to see stuff from the street, but, oh shit, there's a, okay. Oh, there's some, a cop and there's some stuff, something going on right where I was gonna go. So that's interesting. Okay, anyway, we're gonna be looking at the north side, which is um, Hubbard's house is there and David Miscavige's place is there. I don't have all the details. I wasn't in Scientology, but a lot of, um, you know, obviously that the SPTV, they, everybody there. I could not remember, every, I can't remember everybody's name to, to, to tell you who to watch, but just look up um, Scientology. Aaron, Mark, and Claire. Uh, blown for good. Okay, hang on. So there's, I think, like a little, I can't even see it, a little castle. See, they have all these big trees, so you can't see what's behind them, which is a very intelligent way to have privacy. So you can't see anything over there. Um, I forgot my train of thought. But here we go. Oh, yeah, I did see. Okay, it is a two lane highway still. Last time I was here, part of it was blocked off. So it's a pretty little oasis. Oh, and there's the guard shack. It's a pretty little oasis here in the desert. But the the dastardly things that are going on behind the scenes are the reason that we all talk about Scientology. Just give it all the attention it needs, all the attention it requires. Guys, we gotta save people. We gotta help people know the truth. Always. Alright, this is the south side. You see Golden Era Productions building right there. Maybe. See, it's like a little castle. Alright, so we're going to drive by. We're gonna drive by and then try to walk by. Again, like I said, this is, this is where everybody works, I do believe, is on that side. How annoying that you see my phone over, oh, well, whatever.
the whole story, a lot of people do, of people they know who got sucked into Scientology. Um, this one gentleman, I think, is going to uh, testify in the Masters in case. The lady said that he, well, I'm not going to say, anyway, the, the guy that she knows um, might be testifying, let's just put it that way, in this trial against Danny Masterson. Um, I heard a couple different stories, but I think this is the same person that um, she explained to me that he escaped from Scientology and stayed with them for a few months and they had to get security and all kinds of stuff um, to make sure he was safe. Like they, I don't know, I, I didn't have enough time to talk to her about the whole story. Maybe I'll get more of the scoop next week. Uh, when I see her again, but it's it's not a joke. The things that they the things that you hear about Scientology are 100% real. Uh, the abuses it's 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 real. You know they're not. Aaron is not making this stuff up. I mean, if you listen to five minutes of SPTV, you see the consistency. You see how it can only be the truth. Um, and, oh, I think that's what I was talking about, Aaron and Tony. Like, nobody, like, whatever. Who cares who gets along with who as long as we're all shining a light on the Scientology monster so that people can get out if, you know, if they realize that that's what's best for them and their families. Um, the Aftermath Foundation helps people to do that. Again, I'm not a member of any of this stuff. Like, nope, I don't, you know, I... If I was closer to LA, I would be at the trial right now, but I'm not that close and it's not convenient for me. But I just want to do whatever I can because I know what it feels like. That's what I was saying. I know what it feels like to be in this type of relationship, even if it's just with, or even if it's, you know, whether it's one person, a narcissistic, abusive person, or if it's a group, it's the same. All right, so I'm walking by Gold Base, May 2nd, 2023. The Gold Base is a secretive base uh, location in San Jacinto, California, where, oh fuck, I forgot my earbuds again. Um, cars are gonna be loud. Anyway, it's where the Scientologists are being abused, let's put it that way. The mountains are covered in beautiful flowers right now. So this is, what is it again? What's this called? No. Um, Gilman Hot Springs Road. We've got some beautiful skies today. So you better not try to escape because these cactuses will kick your ass. I bet someone's got a story about having cactus stuff stuck in their bodies <laughs> trying to get out of here but these are probably native to this area it is the desert after all it's pretty i'm sure it wasn't fun for whoever had to plant all this stuff there's a little sign for golden era golf course So I just took my bobble picks of bobble headed my render. Oh look, I've never seen somebody on there except for somebody 
um, in the dog booth. But I'm not here to fuck with anybody. No interest, but I'm sure he's here to fuck with me because there are cameras everywhere. Where are those ones? I don't see them. Anyway, let's go for a little more walk. Oh. Is pretty? Golden Air Golf Course in the spring. I don't know if you can see way in the back. The cows? I, they're not Scientology, there's somebody else's cows. <laughs> that you've heard people talk about that's really dirty and people had to clean it and get dunked in it and whatever they call it. Gliders over there. Can you see them? Do I have? Yeah, they're like way up there. I'm trying to guess maybe Idlewild is over on that side. I don't know. Okay, so I'm back in my car and I got some pictures of me and little Mike and little Mike and stuff and there's a silver car over there with his flashers on I just parked there I took a picture of that got his license plate just in case they follow me um yeah I didn't want to mess with you know I'm not trying to give anybody a hard time um because I recognize what it's like to be in this uh, manipulative manipulated um place in life and I know that there's people who actually truly believe that they're doing a good thing um, and I do believe that the more light is shined shown sh shin, on this the truth of what Scientology does to people individuals and to families I do believe that the more light that shined on them the quicker they will fall uh, they're using our tax dollars to destroy families simply put destroy individuals like the the amount of brainwashing like that i will give it to l ron hubbard because he literally did this thing he created something this i don't want to call it a religion but this whatever what is going on whatever um that it's existing beyond his lifetime and manipulating tens of thousands of people, 30,000 people, thinking that they're doing the right thing. They think that they're helping, but in reality, what they're doing is allowing themselves to be destroyed and allowing their families and their loved ones. Like, if, you're, if your self and your family have no value, what the fuck is the point? Like, you know, they think that they have to go through hell in order to make life better for others. And it's really sad because it's not true. I mean, if it was true, that'd be one thing, but it's absolutely not true. Written by someone who wrote science fiction. But like I said, brilliant man to come up with something that is so self-sustaining. It's, it, it's people are brainwashing themselves. Well, no, they get brainwashed and then they continue it with themselves. Just checking out this truck over here to see if they have any interest in me. Maybe not. I'm gonna fly. I have to let it off. All right. Well, that's it for right now. I'll go throw all this stuff together and make it into a video in case um, it's interesting to anybody. Yeah, I think that's it. Unless something comes comes up or goes down, I'll try to get my camera back on. All right. Peace out for now. P.S. The truth sounds different. Listen.